The air conditioning in our car stopped working a few years ago. When it worked, it kept us comfortable on hot days. It's supposed to. More importantly, it allowed us to have the windows closed so we could have the long road trip conversations we enjoy so much. Anyone who's been in a car knows that when only the back windows are open, the sound pressure pounds against the eardrums of the people in the front seat. Meanwhile, having only the front windows open keeps the air moving, but it makes for a noisy car ride. So we always suffer the heat with the windows closed, the vents open and the fan on so we can talk. We learn to adapt. Not last weekend. Canada Day weekend. It was hot. So we sacrificed conversation for comfort and put all the windows down. It was like the 70s when Andrea and I grew up. Air conditioning didn't exist. The windows were always open. Now this was the first time in memory I did this as a driver with Andrea and her two daughters in the car. The wind was spinning around us. It felt great. We were traveling back in time to Upper Canada Village, a living pioneer museum along the St. Lawrence Seaway, a village relocated before the seaway was flooded, a lone relic of six historic towns now called the Lost Villages that were sunk by progress in 1959. And I noticed I'd placed my elbow up on the top of my door, the driver's door, and I had this flashback. I was in a white Ford Galaxy. It had dark blue vinyl bench seats. From my position behind him, I could see my father's elbow up on the top of his door. We were driving somewhere, with all the windows down and the wind spinning around us. I traveled back in time. It was a time before I had children of my own, before I knew what it meant to watch my own children discover the world, to a time when things seemed more simple, and now at a time my own children will reflect on one day as being more simple. A time we traveled through and that was displaced for progress, like air conditioning. And we learned to adapt.